God gives Jonah a second chance. Oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. Psalm 139 verse 1. Jonah 1 to 4. Big waves were crashing over the side of the ship. The sails flapped in the wind and rocked the ship from side to side. Dark clouds gathered on the horizon and rolled in over the sea. The sea was an angry green color and foam splashed up from the waves, washing across the deck. This was it. They were going to die. The sailors looked at one another in fear. If you have a god, start praying! The captain yelled. A big wave washed him off his feet and he grabbed the railing. Pray! He yelled again. They were on a merchant ship on their way to Tarsus. They had barely left Joppa when a big storm broke out. Now it seemed they would never make it out alive. The sailors had already started throwing some of the cargo overboard. They were trying to lighten the load so that the ship wouldn't be so hard to manage in the rough waves. But nothing seemed to help. All they could do now was to pray and hope for the best. Where is the passenger? The Hebrew man we took on board earlier. He's missing. One of the sailors cried out over the roar of the wind. He's sleeping below deck. One of the other sailors answered. Jonah was sound asleep, curled up in the corner. Wake up, wake up. They cried. We're going to die. When Jonah came on deck and saw the violent storm, he told the captain. The storm is because of me. I was disobedient to God. How can it be? The captain asked. I serve the Lord. The God who made the sea and the land, he sent me to Nineveh to speak out against the people who have sinned toward him. I was afraid, so I ran away. Throw me overboard and you will be saved. The captain did not want to kill Jonah, but he could not risk losing his ship and his crew. So he threw Jonah overboard. And as soon as Jonah hit the water, the storm died down. The men saw that this was the work of God, and they worshipped him. Meanwhile, the Lord sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was inside this fish for three days and three nights. From inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God. He said, When I was afraid, I called to the Lord, and he answered me. He pulled me out of the grave when I called for help. God threw me into deep water, into the heart of the sea. When I thought all was lost, the Lord reached out and saved me. Salvation indeed comes from the Lord. Then the Lord commanded the fish, and it vomited Jonah onto dry land. God gave Jonah a second chance and sent him to Nineveh again. When Jonah arrived in Nineveh, he spoke what God had commanded him. He told the people to turn back to God, and if they did not repent, God would destroy them all. The king of Nineveh told all the people to fast and pray so that the Lord could have mercy on them. When God saw that they had indeed turned from their evil ways, he had compassion on them, and he did not destroy them. Jonah became angry. He said to God, I knew that you would have mercy on Nineveh. I knew that you would forgive them. Why did I have to come all this way if God wasn't going to destroy Nineveh? I could have stayed at home. The Lord replied, You are only one man, but I saved you from drowning by sending a big fish. Nineveh is a large city with many people. Should I not have compassion on them too? Jonah realized that God does not look at outward appearances, but He knows the intention of our hearts. God is gracious and compassionate. When we turn back to Him, He forgives us and shows mercy toward us. Here we discover that God shows mercy even when we don't. Memorize. From inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God. Jonah 2 verse 1.